How you guys doing? This is Jason with Tunatech, and today we're going to talk the Flipper Zero. Okay, so this is the Flipper Zero. And I did a quick unboxing of this a while back. Um, it's a unique little device. Got an IR blaster, some pogo pins, some pins here. You know, things you can do, uh, NFC, uh, remote access things. And as it's defined, it is a, for me, for the way it's advertised, it's a tinkerer's device. But a lot of countries and even states and cities have outlawed it due to possible hacking. So you got your Flipper Zero. Maybe you have the Wi-Fi module, um, but there's a new accessory, and I'm not talking a Wi-Fi or even a case, but I'm talking about this. This just was released. It's the video game module. So what is the video game module? It is specifically made for the Flipper Zero. It's got a Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller compatible with lots of already existing Raspberry Pi Pico projects, allows you to use module as a standalone device. It has video out, see the Flipper Zero screen on your TV. So whether you're doing something, tinkering with things or even playing games, you can now have an HDMI out. It's got a built-in gyroscope and accelerometer with open API, allows you to add motion input to any app or game. Obviously it works on the GPIO port a 14 pin port for plugging in joysticks, sensors, and any other DIY components. It's got a USB type C port, which is a dedicated port directly to the RP2040, allows you to communicate with the PC or flash any firmware without the Flipper Zero. It also has standalone mode, like we said, it uses the module without Flipper Zero by running an alternative firmware compatible with Raspberry Pi Pico. It's open source and you can explore and customize parts of the module, both software and hardware so again it's very hacker friendly you can take it apart you can mess with it via the uh, software and or hardware uh, it can be used standalone which is very unique and I did was not actually aware of that until I got this in but you can kind of see on the box here talks about that's where you connect to the flipper zero your USB type C your video out on top a DVI you've got the RP 2040 GPIO breakout you got the boot button and your reset button Right here, it says connects to a TV. Got gyro control, the breakouts, and then the microcontroller. So let's just pop it open. I'm probably not gonna do too much in this video of specifically how to use it because I honestly am just now a novice with this Flipper Zero, getting the basics of that. So I'm not probably the best person to show you how it works, but I'm still interested in messing with it. So it says here, install the module without a case or with the case. So I have a case on mine. So it looks like it's got a little Oh, it's just telling you to remove your cover if you have one, which I do not have a cover on mine. For some reason, my cover never stays in. So I have a case to put it in. And it just says update the Z. So the first thing you want to do is connect it to your phone and update the, zip, the firmware. You can connect to your TV to see how it works. And then you can configure and update via the app. And I'm assuming with the app, there may be some software with this. I have not looked into it yet. Like I said, this just came in a couple days ago. But there's your output. There's your breakout pins. Take this, peel this thing off right here. And that's what it looks like, you guys. Pretty basic, very light in the hand. It's got your flipper zero, um, and that's how it connects. Just like that. Now, you're probably wondering why isn't it doing anything? Obviously, it's gotta be set up. You gotta, it's probably gotta be plugged in. Um, and from there on out, it looks like that's about all you gotta do. So. That is the quick unboxing of the video module. Uh, if I get a chance, I'm gonna hook it up to one of these monitors and let you see what the video out looks like. So just a quick update. So I've got the Flipper Zero off to the side here and it's connected to the video game module. And I, when I open the app, I gotta immediately um, do a firmware update via Bluetooth. And once that's done, I should be able to uh, update the firmware to allow the video game module to work. I actually have it plugged into a monitor right in front of me and it says video game module not initialized. Update Flipper Zero firmware and that's what I'm doing. So hang in there guys. We'll see if we can get this to work. All right guys. So I've got the Flipper Zero plugged in and the video game module hooked up and the firmware updated and you can see on my monitor 
there it is. So this is just a splash screen, but you know, anything you do in it, it can take you through all the stuff. So um, it works. Um, I'll check the app out for some more apps for the Flipper and see what we can do. But this is just another example of how versatile the Flipper Zero is. Again, this is Jason with Tunatech, and thanks for watching.